वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स इस एट सोनिया हियर एंड टुडे आई हैव दिस सो डेलिकेट एंड सो नाइस शैम्पिन ग्लास I don't drink, but I love, love, love decorating these glasses. I have already done that uh, like a couple of years back, but I did not get time to work on those. So I got these new uh, champagne glasses, and this is from uh, Home Center, and this is one of the Ranbir uh, Varar's collection. I love him. I love, love, love his cooking technique. Although I hate cooking, but I love watching his. Uh, videos so yeah that's a different thing okay so now today i'm going to decorate these glasses so first i need to remove the sticker and whatever the stickiness is left there i'm just peeling off with this same sticker and it is clean that is absolutely clean here okay so now what i'm going to do is first i will be sticking this heart shape just sticking out the extra adhesive and sticking it here okay now i'll just wait for a couple of minutes i'll press it really hard so that it sticks well and then we'll start working Now in this one I have planned to do some nice glitter work and for that I need to cover this complete glass and with my sponge dauber I am adding my adhesive I have to be really 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 quick here why because my adhesive is going to dry out and definitely I don't want that and because we have to stick glitter here so what I'm going to do is very quickly I will be adding my adhesive well and then we'll add up the glitter just covering the complete complete glass and i'll try to uh, do the notches the uh, sleek portion as much as i can so that later on if i have to do some more adhesive work i'll do it on the other portion like the neck part of the glass I'm so bad with this. I really don't know what these are called. So, I'm giving it my own name. Okay. I need to add some more adhesive and let me try to hold it like this and I just need to be careful that I'm delicate and i am gentle with this glass okay this is done i'm just turning it around and seeing that if i have not missed out any of the places and once i am happy with this then i'll start having my glitter now i have to be really 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 quick So what I'm going to do is, I will start spreading my glitter here, and like I said, I will have to be really, really, really quick so that my adhesive does not dries out and it sticks well to my adhesive. Now this is looking amazing. This is just looking so gorgeous. and i hope it turns out the way i want it because i have planned that i want this in a particular way of course i took the inspiration from pinterest and i loved few of the designs and this is one of them 
So what happens is you can see the pictures on Pinterest, but you need to know the technique that how to do this. Like earlier, I used to feel that if you have to do any um, heart shape thing, then it has to be like you have to add up the adhesive. But then I later on realized that that is going to be really, really difficult. So what you can do is you can use a die cut or you can use a hand cut, fussy cut heart shape, and then have it on your glass or the bottle and then do it now I need to tap this so that all the excessive glitter comes down ideally I should have kept a paper beneath my glitter work like before starting the glitter work but what I also knew was that um, even if I'm going to have my uh, paper it is not going to cover the complete area so I have to do directly on my table now I'll just keep it upside down and I will let it dry for some time and by the time I'll finish my coffee and then we will be back okay so it's been uh, half an hour uh, since I had let it to dry but still I'm being a little careful and what I'm doing is with very gently I'm uh, rubbing off the excessive uh, glitter from the glass and I have to be really gentle because if you realize that we have just added the liquid adhesive, a thin layer of adhesive and uh, then we have done the glitter work so you have to be really careful. Now I think I've uh, taken out most of the excessive glitter now let me remove this one I'll keep it aside now I'll take a very soft bristle dry brush and with that I'll remove all the glitters the excessive glitters whatever I can wow I think this looks really really amazing okay now let me just see if I can remove the excessive glitter like this so yeah I can see my glitter all the excessive glitter coming out but I have to be very gentle here I have to be very neat and clean and I cannot press it too much cause of course I don't want to take out my glitters completely from the glass okay now this is done and I'm quite 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 happy with this one let me remove this tag I don't know why but it is really irritating me right now yeah so this is done I'm really really happy and I want to show you that how beautiful this looks and now it's time to clean up my table so that we can move on to the next step so how to remove this glitter I have taken up this extra sheet of paper and I'm going to collect it everything on my paper Okay, so now it's time to seal up uh, this uh, glitter box so that I can move on to the next step. I'll just show you that how it looks. This is how it looks after drying out and of course I need to seal it out so that we can move on to the next step. I have to use my varnish but I'm not going to use my varnish from this jar directly. Why? I will tell you because uh, I'm using it on a complete glitter base. Now what happens is whenever you use your... Uh, uh, varnish on a glitter base like on the dry glitter base it is there are very 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 high chances that the uh, glitter might stick to your brush and if you use your brush again on your varnish it while it will uh, like transfer all your glitters to this so just to be sure that that does not happen I have taken another container of varnish now I'll just show you that already in this 
you can see some glitter i'm not sure if you can see let me just dip this brush again now can you see so there are some particles and those are the glitter and that was the reason i was not using the same jar of varnish now you need to be really careful here you cannot cannot do the varnish on the plain surface otherwise cleaning that is going to be really difficult and on one surface if you are doing a varnish do not over repeat that i do i would repeat that please do not redo the surfaces in one go if you are doing your varnish work on your glitter work So my glass has dried out completely and it's looking beautiful. Trust me, it has turned out so 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 beautiful. Now I have decided that I'm not going to use any flowers on this. I am going to use these colorful stones. So I had these two different packs in which you have different sizes and this one is a very shimmery one orangish golden. So I'm going to have this on my glass. Now for doing this what I want to do is first I'll take out all the buttons so these have some of the adhesives at the backing but like uh, if you are a regular viewer of my channel you must be knowing that I do not trust these buttons at all the adhesive of these buttons at all so I am going to of course have my adhesive beneath this but what on the adhesive because if i like use my liquid adhesive it is just going to flow down and it will be very difficult for me to keep it settled there so i'm going to use my glue drops i will cut them into smaller pieces like very small sizes and then i'll start sticking this now i have my glue drop here at the back and now I'll stick this. So here I have chosen these uh, stones. If you want, you can play around with the flowers. If you want, you can uh, use ribbons. If you want, you can use some other glitter and create nice border lines to these. And the creativity is up to you that how you want the look and feel of these glasses. The best part about using glue drop is that it is like when you stick these buttons on your glasses it is not going to flow down so here I have created a nice triangular shape and I'm going to have some of these stones and I think I need to cut more of my glue drops in the smaller size here Let me cut few more so then I can do my sticking work at one go. Now I'll take up the smaller size stones here, add my adhesive and then I'm going to stick it here. This looks beautiful, this looks so delicate and so elegant that uh, it gives a complete new different look to your glasses this is really tricky when you cut the glue drops into small pieces it's at times it's very difficult to know that where is that small 
portion of glue drop okay now i think i should add one big stone on the other side like maybe here and add few more glitter stones here and there Okay, so here I'm done with my glass and it's looking absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. And I really, really hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any queries, please do comment below in the video section. I'll be more than happy to help you all. Thank you so, so, so much for watching guys. Take care. Bye-bye.